Good morning, Facebook. I'm Erica Fernandez with CCIC Communications, and we are live in the class today at Landolt Elementary School. We're in Ms. Cicada's second grade ELA class, and we're excited to be here today. Ms. Cicada, what are you guys learning about right now? Well, we're working on nonfiction books, and we're working a lot on what the central idea and the details are, the author's purpose, why the author wrote the book, and just telling facts that we've learned from our nonfiction books. And so these kids are already ready to dive into their books right now. Do they get to pick and choose which books they're reading? Is it assigned to them? How does that work? Yes. So they, um, we have a classroom library, and they can choose um, books that they like to read um, from nonfiction, fiction. And then also we have books in reading group, and then they can also choose to read those during this time if they want to. So today in our Facebook Live, what are we going to see the students doing? So they're going to be reading their books, and then they're going to be writing about what that they learned in their nonfiction books or facts that the authors shared. And then I'm going to be pulling a small group and me and my small group are going to be working on some long vowel E patterns today. Okay. All right. Well, let's get started then. All right. Okay, friends. So go ahead and get to your reading. Okay. And I'm going to be pulling a group. Remember, we're going to be writing about nonfiction. So you're going to want to read nonfiction or be ready to write about it. And I need the giraffe tigers and Ariana and Avery. Come on over. Yeah, go ahead and bring your book back. Okay. Let me make sure everyone can see. Okay. So we're going to work on two patterns that say the E sound today. Remember, we've been working on our long E words, yeah. right? So like this pattern, E-A e says E, doesn't it? Remember our rhyme, when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking, and it says its name. So E-A says E. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me move this. Is that a little better? Okay. Okay, now another pattern we're going to work on is E and another letter, so I left a blank, and a silent E, right? So remember the silent E also makes the E say E, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna look at some words. So let's sound out some words together. Ready? <coughs> okay, remember the E-A, we're not gonna break it apart. It says E, right? Okay, so let's sound it out, ready? T e -ch -ch. Teach. teach, the word is teach, right? Ooh, what if I add E-R? What's that going to make? Teacher. Teacher. Teacher, like I'm your teacher, right? Okay, what about this word? Okay, let's sound this one out. Ready? Peach. Peach. Ooh, I like how we remember that E-A is going to say E, isn't it? And I like how you remember that C-H says ch, right? We don't break that into its sounds, right? Yeah, like a peach that you eat, right? Okay, how about this one? Remember, E A says E, right? Ready? N e e neat. neat, like I I work neatly, right? Yes. <clears throat> okay. What about this word? Mm -hmm. Eat. That's the kind of meat you eat. Okay. Now look, I'm gonna make a compound word. I'm gonna add something to the beginning of meat. Okay, ready? Let's sound out this part. Lunch meat. Lunch meat. Oh, yeah, like turkey, right? Lunch meat, like meat for your sandwich, right? Okay, what about this one? Okay. E Easy, like it's not hard, it's easy. Ooh, did you notice that the Y said E? That's another thing, another way we can spell it's the long E pattern, easy right? To get a mm. Okay, let's work on some of our silent E ones. This is a name. Ready? Pete. Pete. It's not pet because there's an E at the end, right? So it's gonna make Pete, right? Yes, like Pete the cat. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, what about this one? Let's sound this one out. Ready? Oh, there's an, a silent E at the end, so what's the E going to say? Theme. Theme. Remember we talked about the theme of a book? That's like the message, right? What did the author teach us, right? 
Okay, this one's gonna be a little bit tricky. Okay, ready? Hmm. Okay. Give me a stop. <laughs> Principal Ms. Deb Reno, uh, thank you so much for having us today. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about what we're seeing right now. Okay, so this is during our language arts block, and so you see that some kids are reading independently, and then Ms. Cicada is working with a small group. And so in that small group, they have done some testing to kind of see like where their strengths are and where there's areas that they need to grow in. And so that group, they're all kind of needing the same thing. Um, and so that's why they're meeting together and they're they're doing their phonics piece today. And they're, and they're working on all six of them that are sitting at the table. They all have the same needs. So that's why that small group is formed and everybody else is reading independently. And then she'll be working with another group um, and she switches the kids in and out and so during language arts time that happens you know all throughout all, all throughout that block of time also and we also just learned you told us beforehand that Miss Takeda there's a special recognition that she just received. Yes. yes so she is one of our nationally board certified teachers so we're very blessed to have her here and it, that is a very intense process that takes a long time and so she worked on that for a while because of COVID there's you know that was um, there was other stipulations that were put into place, so she was actually um, is being recognized tonight for that. So we're, um, it's been amazing. I've been here at Landolt for, this is my 14th year, I think, and I got to see her grow from, you know, a baby teacher into the amazing teacher that you see today. So we're very blessed to have her here at Landolt. Can you uh, break down for those who might not know, what does that mm -hmm. mean for a teacher? So for a nationally board certified teacher, it involves a lot of hours that they have to put in as far as like learning about the craft. And then also there's observations. They have to submit videos of them actually teaching lessons that are then like critiqued. Um, so it's not, you know, just like a short class. It's a process that takes, you know, and because of COVID, it actually took several years, Longer, but yeah. yeah. And so there's different, uh, qual there's different qualifications that they have to do. And then also there's different work that they have to submit. So it's a pretty big honor, yeah. you know, that not a lot of people have. Awesome. So, and yeah, like she said, we're going to be honoring uh, Miss Cicada tonight at the school board meeting. Mm -hmm. So we're excited to see that. All right. Yes. Thanks, Ms. Reno. Absolutely. All right, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this Facebook Live, but uh, we've been live in the classroom here at Landolt Elementary School. We'll see you guys next time.